Hey everyone, and welcome again to another instalment of the uh, mini camper slash camper trailer, whatever you want to call it, build. Um, been pretty bad with recording stuff because I just get on a roll and don't really, you know, can't be bothered stopping to record stuff, but yeah, you know, I'm trying. Um, so what I've been working on is the, the raised floor in the um, in the camper here. Now, as you can see right here, um, the front wall up there is front. Okay, so your head will be at that end. Now, I'm about 176 centimeters. So if my head is just off the wall there, okay, I've just been working off the guide about 190, which is about there, like where that little hinge is right there. It's about 190 out there somewhere. Let's just say the back of that guard, where the guard meets the timber here, timber deck. About 190, so plenty of space there. Um, I ended up going right back here, which is more closer to about two meters. So I suppose could be so. Uh, it can apply for people who are quite tall. Um, so what I'm doing at the moment is I'm working from the front the back in terms of the deck here now um, on the end of this video I'll tack on a bit of a hyperlapse of me doing this section here but what I'm going to show you I'm just going to come around the other side there and I'll show you what we've got here you can see in the middle here there's some piano hinge it's two strips of piano hinge here and then on the back here you can see this hinge just on the back just here um, a T hinge they're called and there's another one here and there's another one just out of picture down here so there's three of them okay now firstly I'm going to show you what this section does at the front here so to give you a guide this deck height is a false floor and it sits 200 mil above the original deck of the trailer so I'm just going to go around the other side and show you what it does actually no we can show on this side here as well so excuse my head if it gets in the picture We can see the concept behind this is storage underneath. Also gives us a bit of an air gap underneath. If I go around the other side and I'll show you the other side. Now that can open right out over the other side there. But I think I'm going to put a gas strut in. So just pops up there. Now this back section here, up this way, we've got a big in there. Now this is where the seatbelt strap here somewhere. That gas struts there, but a seatbelt strap. So under here, the idea Sorry, I'll get close to the camera. The idea for this section here, for these sections up here, the idea is that clothes or food or you know any like if you recreational gear or stuff that you use when you go camping or sports gear or stuff can go up down the front here underneath. So that front section there, that you can see the real front section where my welding helmet is, that doesn't lift up, that's just fixed. You can put sports gear, you can put extra storage for food or clothes here. But this section here is supposed to be, or well the concept behind this is, I'm going to put a water tank under here. Um, now, in the past we've had two 30 litre tanks that I've just um, made up a balance tube between the tanks and they sit oh, my car's just up there anyway they sit on the up strapped to the headboard of that now what i'm going to try and do is put a 60 liter or maybe more under here which means we've got 60 liters or thereabouts in a good position between the axles i've got a lot of clearance underneath like even though this is a sort of a beam axle leaf sprung chassis but I don't really want to put it under there. I'd rather put it up 
in here where it's protected. So, so you don't mind how I'm opening this, it's not done yet, but in there, in this area here. So this is approximately 1.6, I think it was, between these guards, approximately. No, 1.3, sorry, 1.3 between these guards here. And it's about 900 from this end here, that in there. So this will be dedicated to, I don't know, might put water and, you know, you can run power under here as well. Not 100% sure where I'm going to do that yet. That'll come in a different video, but yeah, it's just showing people in case they're interested. Now this is going to work. Now, this does need a support here. Like, that's good. I can sit on that. I'm about 100 kilos. That doesn't flex. It's just the framework is um, 20 by 20 gal tube under there. Back here, it's not as sturdy because that's where most of your body weight is up there. This is where your legs are. And this is just angle bracket here, or angle iron going across here, gal. I want to run a tube from there to there. But the problem is, it might interfere with a water tank. So I might, I'm leaving it for now, so that's why you see this a bit floppy. Okay. Um, I might leave it for now until I've got the tank and I can work out how much clearance I've got. But the idea here, most people that I know of use 15 mil and above for plywood for a floor now, I've already got a, pretty sure it's two mil thick, checker plate floor down there. So I don't want to be putting 15 or 17 mil deck up here, if I can help it. Now I know that I've had to put in a framework for this, but I've tried to keep the weight down. Now I've lifted, I carried a form fly piece that I was thinking of using up here, which is the 17 mil form ply and that weighs a bloody ton and that didn't even fill up this whole area here it filled up most of it up to what is it 2.4 i think it was 2.4 by 1200 what was that it's like barely even like that area there so i need two sheets of that stuff and i'm like mm, nah i'll just go with um, 12 mil and just strategically place the supports through here. Now this is all going to be skinned on the outside with um, carpet, sorry, marine carpet. And then underneath, I'm going to put like a polyurethane sealant under. And also this steel checker plate deck, I've got some um, kill rust paint paint all of that, it's like a grey colour, it's on special at the moment, so I'll do that, and, that. and yeah, like I said, I'll probably, I don't know, I'll put some flush handles or something, or some grabbers or pullers or something, so we can lift these up, um, this one hopefully won't need to be lifted very often, but yeah, those ones, the door is like just here, where you can see my left hand to stay here, and the idea is, you can stand at the door, and so I'll put that down. Stand at the door and be able to open that. Open the storage. Alright. So hopefully that's something interesting for anyone looking to make something like this. It's not obviously it's not the ideal way to do this, but this is the way that I'm making it. This is what works for me. And you know while I want it to be strong, I'm trying to keep in mind weight as well, so starting to add up now, but I just don't want it to blow out. So we'll see how we go. So after this, just after this, I'll tack on the hyperlapse of me doing one of these hinges. Yeah. Um, other than that, please subscribe and like the video. Um, make a comment or if you'd like to comment on helping me out or asking about what I'm doing here, have a look at my other videos. I made a series on building this trailer. 
um, just look on um, GT Garage on YouTube. Thanks.